I saw you last night. You were great. Yeah, right. Turn around. The 1979 comedy The Jerk, directed by Carl Reiner and starring Steve Martin, tells the story of Navin R. Johnson's unpredictable journey from poverty to wealth and back. Despite its comedic brilliance, the film contained a controversial scene that was left on the cutting room floor. This lost scene has piqued the interest of fans and critics alike, adding to the film's intriguing history. In this video, we delve into 20 captivating facts about the jerk, including this elusive scene, behind-the-scenes stories, and little-known details about the cast and crew. Join us as we explore some hidden gems of this classic film, which still resonates with audiences decades after its release. Did you know that Steve Martin was not the first choice to play Navin R. Johnson? The role was originally offered to another actor, but he turned it down. Who was it, and why did he decline the part? Find out in the video. Steve Martin's character, Navin, has a memorable line in the film that has become iconic. But did you know that this line was improvised on set? Learn about the origins of this famous quote and the impact it had on the film's success. The Jerk was not only a critical success, but also a box office hit. The film grossed over 73 million domestically, making it one of the highest grossing films of 1979. But what made this film so popular with audiences, and how did it influence comedy in the years that followed? The film's cast included some notable actors and actresses, some of whom were just starting their careers. For example, Bernadette Peters, who played Marie, went on to have a successful career in film, television, and theater. But did you know that she was not the first choice for the role? Find out who else was considered for the part, and why Peters was ultimately cast. The Jerk also had a significant impact on Steve Martin's career. The film catapulted him to stardom, and solidified his status as a leading man in Hollywood. But did you know that Martin was already an accomplished comedian, an actor before The Jerk? Learn about his early career, and how The Jerk helped him to reach new heights. The film's production was not without its challenges. For example, the crew had to deal with limited resources and a tight shooting schedule. But despite these obstacles, they managed to create a film that has stood the test of time. Find out more about the making of The Jerk and the people who brought it to life. In addition to its comedic brilliance, The Jerk also had a memorable soundtrack. The film's theme song, Tonight You Belong to Me, became a hit single and is still remembered today. But did you know that the song was not originally written for the film? Learn about the history of this classic tune and how it came to be associated with The Jerk. The Jerk has left a lasting legacy in the world of comedy. The film's influence can be seen in many modern comedies and its memorable characters and scenes continue to inspire new generations of comedians and filmmakers. Join us as we explore the fascinating history of this classic film and the impact it has had on the world of comedy. And you came back and later on the sixth day in the evening when we the idea for the 1979 comedy film the jerk originated from a line in steve martin's stand-up act where he joked i was born a poor black child this offhand remark evolved into a narrative about navin johnson's life marking martin's transition from stand-up comedy to a more enduring film career in the movie navin johnson a character played by steve martin is a white man who grows up believing he is black. The film follows Navin's journey as he discovers his true identity and navigates through various odd jobs, showcasing Martin's comedic genius. Navin's life takes many unexpected turns, from working as a gas station attendant to becoming a successful inventor. Along the way, he encounters a cast of quirky characters who add to the film's humor and charm. The Jerk was a significant milestone in Steve Martin's career solidifying his status as a comedic actor and paving the way for future roles. The film's success marked a new chapter in Martin's career as he continued to explore different genres and styles. The movie's plot, based on a simple yet hilarious joke, resonated with audiences and has since become a classic example of Martin's comedic style. The film's impact transcended the world of comedy, leaving a lasting mark on cinema and pop culture. Without a doubt, the Jerk remains a testament to Steve Martin's comedic prowess, showcasing his unique ability to make audiences laugh with his wit and charm. The film's enduring appeal is a testament to Martin's talent, as it continues to captivate new audiences to this day. Shit happened. It's exciting. Yes. The screenplay for The Jerk was a collaborative effort involving Steve Martin, Carl Gottlieb, and Michael Elias. This trio's combined humor, and dynamic script writing significantly contributed to the film's success. 
The writer skillfully crafted a story that showcased Steve Martin's comedic talents while also providing a satirical take on the American dream. Steve Martin, who played the lead role of Navin Johnson, was also deeply involved in the writing process. His unique comedic style and observational humor were instrumental in shaping the film's script. Martin's input brought a fresh and original voice to the story, making the film stand out from other comedies of the time. Carl Gottlieb, who had previously worked with Martin on Saturday Night Live, was brought on board to help refine the script. Gottlieb's experience as a writer and actor helped to bring structure and coherence to the story, while also adding his own comedic touch. Michael Elias, a relatively unknown writer at the time, was also a crucial part of the writing team. Elias's contributions helped to balance out the humor and satire, adding depth and nuance to the story. Together, the three writers created a script that was both hilarious and thought-provoking, leaving a lasting impact on audiences. The success of The Jerk can be attributed in large part to the collaborative efforts of its writers. Their combined talents and comedic sensibilities resulted in a script that was both timeless and relevant, appealing to audiences of all ages. The film's enduring popularity is a testament to the power of great writing and the importance of collaboration in the creative process. Dinner. This is no big deal. It's a parking ticket to me. Only instead of five dollars, it's ten. Directed by the seasoned Carl Rayner, The Jerk became an instant comedy classic. Rayner's comedic touch, honed through years of experience, elevated the script and brought out its full potential. During the production, he would often brainstorm with Martin, fine-tuning the film's content during their commutes together. This collaborative effort resulted in a fun, engaging, and memorable movie experience. The chemistry between Steve Martin and Bernadette Peters, who played the romantic leads, was further enhanced by their off-screen romance. Their blossoming relationship added depth and authenticity to their on-screen interactions, making their love story even more endearing to audiences. As the filming progressed, the duo's natural affinity for each other translated beautifully onto the screen, creating a romantic subplot that was both heartwarming and hilarious. Their performances were a testament to the power of their real-life connection, which undoubtedly contributed to the film's lasting appeal. The romance between the two characters unfolded against the backdrop of the movie's outrageous and unpredictable storyline, providing a perfect balance of humor and heart. The result was a film that has stood the test of time, remaining a beloved comedy classic to this day. In this classic, the romantic subplot was just one of the many elements that made The Jerk a must-see film. The collaboration between Reiner and Martin, as well as the genuine connection between the two leads, helped create a movie that has left a lasting impact on audiences and continues to resonate with fans to this day. Pulling my cap down. In the 1979 comedy The Jerk, there's an interesting tale about a cameo that never made it to the final cut. The actor in question was none other than Bill Murray. It's said that his appearance was left on the cutting room floor, but Bill Murray, with his characteristic humor, didn't let this slip by without a mention. He humorously brought it up during his stint on Saturday Night Live. Now, let's turn to another intriguing fact about this classic. The renowned filmmaker Stanley Kubrick was known for his admiration for The Jerk. This admiration sparked discussions about potential collaborations between Kubrick and the movie star, Steve Martin. However, these discussions remained just that, discussions and unfortunately never materialized into a project. It's fascinating to think about what such a collaboration might have produced. But alas, we can only wonder, as the world was never given the chance to see what these two creative minds could have conjured up together. In the 1979 movie The Jerk, there are two notable instances where improvisation and stand-up comedy influence can be seen. The first instance involves a playful scene where the character Navin, played by Steve Martin, impulsively licks the face of Marie, portrayed by Bernadette Peters. This unexpected action, which was unscripted, caught Bernadette off guard, capturing her genuine surprise and laughter. This authentic moment added a layer of humor and realism to the film. The second instance showcases Steve Martin's stand-up background. In a particular scene, Navin picks up various items while declaring that he doesn't need anything, comically contradicting himself as he gathers more and more possessions. This scene is reminiscent of Steve Martin's stand-up routine, where he often used absurdity and contradiction to create humor. By incorporating these improvised and stand-up-inspired moments, 
the jerk successfully blends scripted scenes with spontaneous humor, contributing to its enduring charm. The 1979 movie The Jerk was influenced by the gas shortage during the 1970s, which had a significant impact on the film's production logistics. The movie's co-writers, Steve Martin and Carl Rayner, were forced to carpool to work, which turned out to be a fortunate turn of events. During their commutes, they had ample time to brainstorm and refine the film's concept, leading to a more polished and cohesive final product. Initially, the movie was titled Easy Money, but the creators decided to change it to better reflect the film's main character, inspired by Fyodor Dostoevsky's novel The Idiot. The new title, The Jerk, perfectly encapsulated the bumbling and hapless protagonist, played by Steve Martin, who navigates through life with a mix of naivete and cluelessness. The Jerk follows the story of Navin Johnson, a white man raised by a black family in the South, who embarks on a journey to discover his true identity and purpose in life. Along the way, he stumbles upon success, only to lose it all, and find himself at the starting point once again. The movie is a classic example of Steve Martin's comedic genius, showcasing his impeccable timing and hilarious facial expressions. The film's original title, Easy Money, would not have conveyed the same message or captured the essence of the main character. The jerk was a perfect fit, as it highlighted the character's lack of sophistication and understanding of the world around him. The title change was a crucial decision that paid off, making The Jerk a beloved comedy classic that continues to resonate with audiences today. In the 1979 movie The Jerk, the fictional OptiGrab device plays a significant role in the story. This invention, symbolizing Navin's naive inventiveness, is pivotal in his rise and fall throughout the film. The OptiGrab, a device that can supposedly help people find their car keys, represents Navin's optimistic and sometimes misguided approach to life. The movie's setting includes a Beverly Hills mansion, known for its eccentric decor. This extravagant backdrop adds a touch of glamour to the film and serves as a visual representation of Navin's success and eventual downfall. The mansion, with its unique and quirky interior design, reflects Navin's personality and his journey in the story. In this classic, the OptiGrab device and the Beverly Hills Mansion are two key elements that contribute to the film's overall narrative and atmosphere. The device, while seemingly simple, highlights Navin's character and his misadventures, while the mansion serves as a visual representation of Navin's success and the extravagance that comes with it. The Jerk, released in 1979, emerged as a major box office success, grossing over 100 million. This achievement marked a significant milestone in Steve Martin's career as a comedic actor. The film's popularity showcased the comedian's unique talent and solidified his status as a bankable star. The movie received positive reviews from critics and audiences alike. Its humor and wit were celebrated, and it has since been regarded as one of the funniest films ever made. The lasting influence of the jerk can be seen in the comedy genre, where it continues to inspire new generations of comedians and filmmakers. Steve Martin's performance in The Jerk was a revelation. His ability to blend physical comedy with clever dialogue made for an unforgettable character that resonated with audiences. The film's success not only launched Martin's career, but also introduced a new style of comedy that would become synonymous with his name. In conclusion, The Jerk was a groundbreaking film that left a lasting impact on the comedy genre. Its box office success and critical acclaim solidified Steve Martin's place as a comedic genius, and its influence can still be felt today. There'll be times out there when there won't be enough food. The 1979 movie The Jerk boasted a diverse cast that greatly enriched the film's character dynamics. Among the talented actors were M. Emmett Walsh and Jackie Mason, who both delivered memorable performances. Sometime later, in 1984, a television film sequel titled The Jerk 2 was released, featuring Mark Blankfield as Navin Johnson. Notably, Steve Martin did not contribute to the writing or participate in the sequel as an actor. The Jerk 2 extended the story of Navin Johnson, the character originally portrayed by Steve Martin in the first movie. The TV film provided a continuation of the character's journey albeit without the presence of the original lead actor. In this classic, the ensemble of actors contributed to a rich 
an engaging narrative, leaving a lasting impression on viewers. The diverse cast of The Jerk and its sequel showcased the depth of talent in the acting world and demonstrated how a strong cast can bring a story to life. Not really. Are they crazy? If I was a fella... In the 1979 movie The Jerk, Steve Martin demonstrates his comedic range by taking on dual roles. Besides portraying the main character Navin, he also plays a minor role as the cat juggler, credited under the pseudonym Pig I. Jackson. This choice allowed him to showcase his versatility, seamlessly shifting between two distinct personas while maintaining the absurd humor that defines the film. Navin, the primary protagonist, embodies many qualities reminiscent of Steve Martin's stand-up comedy style. Audiences witness Navin's growth throughout the movie, observing how his naivete and childlike curiosity shape his journey through life's complexities. As the story unfolds, viewers can appreciate how these characteristics blend with elements of absurdity, further highlighting the unique comedic voice present in Steve Martin's work. Throughout this classic, audiences experience Navin's transformation from a simpleton gas station attendant to a man facing success and failure in various ventures. Despite encountering numerous challenges along the way, including romantic relationships and financial upheaval, he maintains his optimistic outlook on life, making him an immensely likable figure. With each twist and turn, it becomes increasingly clear that the core essence of Navin remains unchanged, a testament to Steve Martin's ability to develop memorable and engaging characters. As evidenced by his performance in The Jerk, Steve Martin has always been unafraid to push boundaries and experiment with different aspects of comedy. By embracing both leading and supporting roles in this iconic film, he leaves an indelible mark on its overall fabric, ensuring that it continues to resonate with fans even today. His willingness to take risks and explore diverse dimensions of humor solidified his status as a respected figure in the entertainment industry, paving the way for future generations of artists to follow suit. Delving deeper into this movie reveals just one facet of Steve Martin's impressive career, which spans multiple decades and genres, cementing his place among the greats in Hollywood history. Crazy? If I was a fella, I'd be around all the time. Well, see if you can work it out. We have it. The movie The Jerk, directed by Carl Rayner, was filmed across 85 locations in the greater Los Angeles area. This decision added visual diversity to the film, reflecting the protagonist Navin's journey from a small town to the city. The production team carefully selected locations that would enhance the narrative and provide a backdrop for the comedic scenes. The script of The Jerk underwent frequent updates during production. Martin and Rainer's daily discussions often led to fresh comedic content, which was incorporated into the script. The improvisational nature of the filming process allowed for a more dynamic and spontaneous final product. The script evolved as the filming progressed, with new jokes and scenes added to enhance the humor and storyline. In one notable instance, a scene where Navin discovers his name in the phone book was added late in the production. This scene became one of the most memorable moments in the film, showcasing Navin's excitement and sense of accomplishment. The script evolution allowed for such moments to be included, adding to the film's comedic appeal. The film's shooting locations and script evolution contributed to its success, making The Jerk a classic comedy that continues to be enjoyed by audiences today. The diverse settings and dynamic script created a unique viewing experience, setting The Jerk apart from other comedies of the time. Uh. You know, you can tell so much about a person from the way they live. Just In the casting of The Jerk, Bernadette Peters was specifically chosen to play the role of Marie. The film's creators believe that her charm and comedic style would perfectly complement Martin's unique humor. Peters, who had already made a name for herself on Broadway, brought a certain warmth and charm to the character of Marie, creating a lovable and memorable performance. Moreover, music played a significant role in The Jerk, particularly the duet Tonight You Belong to Me. This musical number showcased the musical talents of both Martin and Peters, adding an extra layer of entertainment to the film. The song became a fan favorite and is still remembered today for its catchy tune and playful lyrics. The soundtrack of The Jerk also featured other musical elements that added to the film's overall charm. The use of music in the film was strategic, often used to enhance comedic moments or to create a sense of nostalgia. The result was a soundtrack that perfectly complemented the film's tone and style. In conclusion, the casting of Bernadette Peters and the inclusion of musical elements particularly the duet Tonight You Belong To Me, 
were crucial in making The Jerk the classic film that it is today. The combination of Peter's charm and comedic timing, along with the film's memorable soundtrack, helped to create a film that has stood the test of time and continues to be enjoyed by audiences today. Honey, why the gloom? The 1979 movie The Jerk, directed by Carl Reiner and starring Steve Martin, has left an undeniable mark on comedy and pop culture. Its witty one-liners and humorous scenarios have influenced countless subsequent films and comedians, making it a true classic in American cinema. This movie follows Navin R. Johnson, played by Steve Martin, who was born a poor black child, but grows up to believe he's meant for greater things. His journey takes him through various misadventures involving love, work, and self-discovery, providing ample opportunities for laughter along the way. While the released version of The Jerk already boasts numerous unforgettable moments, some scenes didn't make the final cut. These deleted sequences offer further insight into the characters and add even more laughs. For instance, there's an alternative introduction of Marie, Navin's love interest, which provides another layer to their relationship dynamics. Unfortunately, this scene ended up on the cutting room floor. Another notable omission is a scene featuring a Texas oil millionaire. This sequence could have added depth to Navin's character arc while also contributing to the overall hilarity of the storyline. Despite these missing pieces, the movie remains a brilliant example of slapstick humor and absurdity done right. Indeed, the jerk resonates with audiences because of its relatable themes wrapped up in clever jokes and physical gags. Decades after its release, people still quote iconic lines like I think I'll go downtown and get me a steak or recall funny situations depicted in the film. Without a doubt, this classic continues to inspire future generations of comedians and entertain viewers with its timeless charm. But don't. My mother sacrificed everything to send me through cosmetology school. In the television version of The Jerk, viewers were treated to scenes not included in the original theatrical release. These additions provided a more comprehensive understanding of the story, fleshing out the characters and their motivations. The editing process played a crucial role in maintaining a balance between the film's comedic timing and its narrative flow. The editing team worked tirelessly to ensure that each joke landed with perfect timing while still keeping the story coherent and engaging. They had to carefully consider each scene's placement, making sure that it contributed to the overall narrative arc of the film. This painstaking process helped to create a seamless viewing experience where the humor and storyline worked together in perfect harmony. One notable addition to the television version of The Jerk was an extended scene between Navin Johnson, the film's protagonist, and his love interest, Marie. This scene provided more context for their relationship, giving viewers a deeper understanding of Navin's character and his motivations. It also allowed for more character development, making Navin a more relatable and sympathetic figure. Another scene that was added for the television version was an extended sequence at the gas station where Navin first meets Marie. This scene provided more comedic moments, as well as more insight into Navin's character. It also helped to establish the setting and tone of the film, giving viewers a better sense of the world that Navin inhabits. The editing process was also crucial in maintaining the film's pacing. The team had to ensure that each scene transitioned smoothly into the next, without any jarring jumps or awkward pauses. They had to carefully consider the length of each scene, making sure that it was long enough to establish its purpose but not so long that it became tedious or boring. In addition to the added scenes, the editing team also had to consider the content of the existing scenes. They had to make sure that any potentially offensive or controversial material was removed or edited to make it more suitable for a wider audience. This included removing some of the more risque jokes and language, as well as toning down some of the film's more violent or aggressive moments. Overall, the editing process for the television version of The Jerk was a complex and challenging task. The team had to balance the film's comedic elements with its narrative flow, while also considering the content and pacing of each scene. The result was a more comprehensive and engaging viewing experience where the humor and storyline worked together to create a truly memorable film. In the 1979 movie The Jerk, there was a controversial deleted scene that featured Bill Murray playing a flamboyantly gay decorator. This scene was removed due to sensitivity concerns, demonstrating the balance that the filmmakers tried to maintain between humor 
and social responsibility. The scene in question involved Murray's character, who was hired by the movie's protagonist, Navin Johnson, played by Steve Martin. However, the scene was deemed inappropriate and was ultimately cut from the final version of the movie. The decision to remove the scene highlights the challenges that filmmakers face when trying to create humor that is both funny and respectful to all audiences. While the scene may have been intended to be lighthearted and humorous, it was ultimately decided that it was not worth the potential offense it could cause. Despite this deleted scene, The Jerk remains a classic comedy that has stood the test of time. The movie's humor and memorable characters have resonated with audiences for over four decades, making it a beloved part of cinema history. It's worth noting that the movie was released in a different time, when societal attitudes towards LGBTQ individuals were not as accepting as they are today. While the scene may have been deemed inappropriate, even for its time, it's important to recognize the progress that has been made since then in terms of representation and acceptance. In the end, the decision to remove the scene was likely the right one, as it helped ensure that the movie could be enjoyed by a wider audience without causing offense. The Jerk remains a testament to the power of humor and the importance of balancing it with social responsibility. Get ready, Irvi.